Hi Capricorn, this is your February 2019 tarot reading. Sahara Stars with Wim Astrology. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. We're going to have an eclipse on the 4th in Aquarius and um, a full supermoon at the end of the month that's going to make some big changes happening for all of us. So let's take a look and see what's happening for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Please give me the most accurate messages for those born under the Sun, Moon, or Rising sign of Capricorn for February 2019. Just bear with me while I shuffle until I feel it's right. Capricorn, February 2019. Horns. Here we go. All right. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles, okay? So there's going to be a decision that you guys have to make regarding two different opportunities. Um, you might be juggling a lot. You might be having a lot on your plate. It might be a very busy month for you guys. Um, the Two of Pentacles is really about juggling a lot of things, making a decision between two different job opportunities, um, choosing between two people. Um, usually it's revolving around money when it's Pentacles, but it also could be two different... Uh, options just in general okay so let's take a look and see what this is about all right so overseeing your reading Ooh, we have the king of wands which is a fire sign sun moon or rising um, Leo Sagittarius or Aries or it could be somebody that's very passionate direct um, goes after what they want um, but it's next to the nine of swords which means somebody's been staying up all night worried stressed out think overthinking um, and it could be about this fire sign, okay? This could be about um, feeling like you don't know what to do about something, um, but it's definitely a worry card, which means you're worried about something, so maybe you're worried about this fire sign person. Um, but let's take a look and see. We got Cernanos in reverse, which is awesome, because in the upright, it's about addictions, attachments, things that are unhealthy, also negative energy, blockages, um, things like that. And the end of the moon, super moon, is really about undoing blockages and moving past blockages. For those of you that have been experiencing blockages, uh, you're going to be coming out of those. Okay, this could also be an addictive, very passionate relationship that may be with the fire sign, but it doesn't have to be because these are general readings. It looks like it's been very disturbing, very upsetting. You've been worried, maybe you haven't heard from this person, or maybe they've been stressing you out. Now, for some of you that have a sun, moon, or rising in a fire sign, this could just be you um, being worried, but you're coming out of fear, anxiety, um, obsession. Maybe some of you are letting go of an obsessive, obsessive relationship or a relationship that had some kind of control over you in some way. This is typically um, power struggles, people just doing underhanded tactics, all sorts of crazy nonsense that has to do with the devil card or anything like that, holding you hostage, blackmail, all that stuff too. Um, but usually it comes up in a relationship where somebody was very addicted to each other or obsessed with each other in some way or can't get them off their mind or maybe they were doing something unethical and it's been stressing you out. And then we have the Prince of Wands in reverse. So this could be somebody coming in and out of your life, this fire sign person that you've been going back and forth to, or it could be also that you haven't been taking action or somebody else hasn't been making any action towards you. We have the Lover's card. So this is definitely more than likely involving partnerships, relationships. This could be with the Gemini. Some of you might be involved with the Gemini that you have strong sexual magnetism with, okay? And... It doesn't necessarily mean that the relationship was unhealthy, but in some cases it is. Anytime it becomes obsessive or controlling or dominating or anything like that where you feel like you've lost your control. Or it could be a business partnership or any relationships that were 
that were being, um, you know, unethical power struggles with you. But in this case, if you were involved with either a Gemini or a fire sign, just because it's showing up, there's an earth sign and there's also an Aries here um, in reverse. So some of you might be involved with an Aries or any fire sign or a Gemini that was a very strong, powerful, magnetic relationship, okay? That was very difficult to get out of. Um, and some of you might have ended it or somebody ended it with you, okay? And it was very difficult, okay? And they're not making any movement forward, okay? And then we have the Lord card, which is a very powerful person, dominating person in the reverse. Again, we're seeing a lot of very powerful um, struggles. Now, the King of Wands is in the upright, so I don't see him acting out of control. I see him being, you know, more of a, a passionate type of person. Um, it could be male or female, fire sign person. Sorry. It just, um, and this person in the reverse is typically a difficult, stubborn person. So it could be a boss. It could be somebody that you're having difficulty working with. It could be a lover or a person you're involved with that's not moving forward with you. I see not moving forward. I see this is good, though, because this is letting go of something that was... Uh, toxic, okay, or letting go of an addiction or letting go of something that was taking up all your time that's causing you to be here, okay, and it's also the end of negative energy of these types of situations, okay, so that's good. All right, we got the five of pentacles in reverse also, which is good because that's coming out of feeling out of the cold, left out in the cold, feeling alone, feeling like you're on your own, financial struggles. So it's in the reverse, so that part is over. So some of you might have been struggling. Somebody left you out in the cold, okay, and it left you upset. Somebody just ghosted you, didn't talk to you, not talking to you, isn't moving forward with you. Um, they're not working with you, okay? But this is... This is really good both of these are because it's in the reverse so you're going to be coming out of that or if it was financial struggles those are ending um any negative cycles that you're in are ending okay um this could be a new love relationship that comes in that's really really passionate but let's take a look all right so come the end of the month you're going to have some options okay you're going to be looking at the future in terms of what it is it what it is you really want to do what it is that you want okay um Please keep in mind these are general readings. They won't resonate with all of you, but for those of you that this does, um, the end of the month, you're going to be having some options come to you. You're going to be wanting to take a new path. Um, it looks like whatever relationship that has been stressing you out, that left you feeling in the cold, um, you're going to be moving past it. You're going to be letting it go. Yeah, and then there's healing coming. There's healing and also studying the metaphysical sciences, but this is coming up with solutions. And I was telling you about the end of the month moon, which is about overcoming obstacles um, and protection. So you're looking at, you know, this is a this is a healing card. This is about finding, you know, finding a way to heal, like coming up with metaphysical things, listening to affirm, positive affirmations, healing yourself, taking care of your health, focusing on you. Okay. Um, can you tell me more about this King of Wands in Capricorn's reading for February? Sorry, too many flew out. Can you tell me about the King of Wands for February 2019 for those born under the sun, moon, or rising of Capricorn? Whoa. All right. So, yeah, the, somebody's feeling stuck here, but it looks like they're going to come... <laughs> They're going to want to start something new or they're going to give you an offer. They're definitely doing some introspection and reflection, okay? Taking a time out and thinking about stuff, but they're going to be getting some illumination, some revelation, something that's going to make them take action, okay? Um, so some of you might be making a decision between two people or two jobs. Yeah, and it looks like there's you're going to be very happy about this person coming back to you. Now, please keep in mind that this is sun, moon, or rising, meaning they could be any sign, an earth sign, an air sign. They have fire somewhere in their chart, okay? Um, and they've been doing some introspection, and they've been stuck, okay? But they're going to be making some movement, but it might take a little bit of time because it's a slow-moving uh, night. But you're going to be happy about it. You're going to have a celebration about it, okay? Um Let's take a look at this lover's card. Can you tell me more about the lovers for Capricorn 
February 2019. Please give me the most accurate messages for those born under the sun or rising of Capricorn for the lover's card. Nothing wants to come out for that one. Hmm. Tell me about the lovers. Oh, we got one. Well, we have the moon in reverse. So that's coming out of depression, okay? So those of you that have been very sad or depressed about um, a very passionate love relationship, okay, or confused about it, there's going to be some clarity on it, okay? And it looks like this person is receiving some clarity, this fire sign, but it could be any sign, an air sign, an earth sign with some fire in their chart that's going to be getting a revelation, coming to make an offer, and you're going to be happy about it. So there's been some definitely some confusion, some vague circumstances surrounding this passionate love relationship that left you in the cold or that you didn't get answers for that's been keeping you up at night. Um, whatever the negative blockage is, it's being removed here. Can you tell me more about... Um, The Five of Pentacles for Capricorn, February 2019. Five of Pentacles for Capricorn. Yeah, you were, somebody is feeling regretful or feeling regret, okay? Um, and, or sad about a loss. And it's coming with the, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So definitely whatever this was, it hurt you emotionally or you know, it could be vice versa. Somebody, the other person is feeling this way about you, like you left them in the cold and they're feeling sad and they've been depressed about this connection. Okay. Um, but there's going to be healing and you're going to be feeling good at the end of the month. Can you tell me about this Lord from Capricorn, February 2018? So for some of you, this situation was um, a job or work-related um, thing, a, a work-related situation where you were expecting some more money, where you were expecting big money from this work situation, or it could be an inheritance from your father, or this could be you know a boss or somebody else who is coming into some money here. Hmm, that's some big money there. So some of you could be coming into some big money, but this person is difficult and there might be some strings attached or some red tape surrounding it. Okay? Um, but just handle that with caution and just, you know, sometimes inheritances and stuff like that can come with red tape or there's a difficult, powerful person who's got the money on hold for you guys. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm seeing from that. So can you tell me what Capricorns can expect um, by the end of the month? Give me three cards to close out this reading and tell me what they can expect at the end of the month. Definitely some fire sign, sun, moon, or rising, or Gemini, or um, an Aries, okay? Um, could be a Capri another Capricorn, too, because your card is here. Um... Those are the signs I'm seeing right now. Uh, can you give me three cards for Capricorn end of the month, February 2019? Yeah, you're going to be having to make a decision here, okay? But you're going to be healing from this whatever situation. For those of you that were involved in a toxic situation that you let go of, you're going to be healing from it. You're going to be finding solutions to a lot of your problems here, including all of these, because that's what this is. However, it's not going to be easy decisions, okay? You're going to feel like, I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to turn. But what's coming up with after the Two of Swords for Capricorns? Yeah, you got the Star card. So all is going to be well. For some of you, this is an Aquarius, okay? Um, that you're, you're, you're figuring, trying to figure out which direction you want to go with them, okay? But otherwise, this is a wish fulfillment, a dream come true, this is like a really positive card, the star card, like getting praise, recognition. It looks like some money's coming, but there's going to be, you know, this person might be difficult, whoever this person is in regards to it. Some of you could get a raise, but 
your boss is difficult or it might be delayed, okay? But you're gonna have options, new paths to go, new horizons to cross, and you're gonna be finding solutions to a lot of things, healing, feeling good, and then you're gonna have, you know, you're not gonna know what to do at the end of the month about a situation, but then the star card's just gonna come take care of that for you. Something very positive is gonna happen. All right, so let's get a focus card or another card for you guys. Capricorns for February 2019. We got seven heavenly virtues. Keys to goodness. So when you're going through any difficult time, always just, you know, reach for the stars, stay positive, call on your angels. You know, remember the seven heavenly virtues. You know, relax, because I do see some dark energy, some negative energy there for you guys. But it's over. So, I mean, I see it over. I see it over and good stuff coming. And intuition. Pay attention to your intuition. Trust your intuition. When it comes to this situation here, or when it comes to anyone that you're in a relationship with and they've treated you bad and they left you with no answers. I mean, is it really, you know, trust your intuition on that situation. And then you got face your fears, which is always very important. Release the power of fear. Fear is the enemy. It stops you from doing all good things and from accomplishing things in life and all kinds of stuff. So release your fears. All right, Capricorns. I hope you found this, uh, helpful. I hope it resonates with some of you out there. Um, I'm sending you positive energy again. Thanks so much for listening. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like to, please kick, click the bell so you can get notified of my uploads as they come. And until next time.